Hey, so this is going to be a quick video. I don't know how many people this will help, but basically if you have configured your Windows a little bit, if you tweaked it too much, um, for me I think it's from disabling Windows Defender and um, user account control. I can't install anything from the Windows Store. Like if I hit get, it's going to pretend like it's doing something, and then it will just say that it failed. Um, turn on Windows Update, and then when I go to Windows Update, here advanced options and configured update policies so I have all these that are supposedly set but if I go to my group policy I don't actually see them um, which if you want to see like a really quick way to filter you just have to check to see if you've configured it right so I haven't actually disabled any of these in fact I've disabled the option to disable the apps from the store um, one of these maybe is doing something I don't really feel like checking through all of these because they're kind of necessary to turn off Windows Defender. Um, so, not going to do that, but there is a workaround, which is just not using the actual site. So again, we're just going to copy the link from here, and then we'll go to store.rg-adguard.net. We'll put the link in. Alright, so then we have a bunch of these so we're looking for x64, ARM64, you don't want that's for mobile PCs, um, like Windows tablets. Um, so this is the actual app that I'm looking for. These are just dependencies which you can get from their website anyway. Um, and we're looking for .msix. I'm just going to right click and save link. Choose keep. And there you go. We can actually just install this and it works perfectly fine, um, even though it does not work through the Windows Store. Yes, yeah, so and you can actually see that it even shows that I own the ones that I downloaded. So I think removing the um, the share link maybe helps. I don't know if it's necessary because it did work sometimes, um, but if it gives you an issue, maybe just remove that. Alright, so this one, there's a whole bunch, um, but yeah, we're able to find the MSI X. Hmm, did I? Alright, so you want to make sure that you don't get an E MSI X, because this one, that means that it's encrypted, so there's nothing you can do with it, so you don't want that. <laughs> um, and then, if you see a neutral, that is fine, that will work on any um, architecture, otherwise you're looking for x64, but usually the app itself will be neutral. So pretty quick, um, hopefully that helps someone, um, I'm not affiliated with this site or anything, I only just found out about it recently, but um, yeah, if you've struggled to download stuff then this should help. Oh, and in some cases you are going to see no MSIX, but you'll see an AppX, and um, yeah, just you want an AppX. Never, you never really need the block map. Um, I think that in this case, it probably is AppX because it bundles all the dependencies. Because I don't see any dependencies. Um, so just to cover my bases, I did want to <laughs> check to make sure I wasn't like accidentally making a video on piracy. So you can actually download. A paid app um, through that website but then when you install it if you try to run it it will show this message so it should be perfectly fine I don't know if there's maybe some like fine Microsoft store that you're not supposed to do this but um, just in case anyone was worried or thought they've been taught something cool like no it's not for piracy